Namaste everyone. Welcome to Himalayan Yoga Association Zoom classes. Hi, Surav, I have a question. Yes, ask. Uh, so I attended the class at 6.30, sorry, at, um, at 10. Okay. And I'm not feeling very well right now. And I'm a little bit, I think I did it a little too much yesterday during our class. Okay. So if it's okay, I'm just going to watch today. Yes, um, don't force yourself, just relax. And yeah. whenever you feel better, you can join us again. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to watch because I don't want to miss the class, but I, I can't, I don't think I should participate. And I already did the class this morning. So. Okay. So it's okay. It's fine. You can just okay. watch and learn whatever we do. Okay. Thank you. So today we will continue with our Astanga series. We will add two more asan. Yesterday we have completed the Ek Pada Padangust Asana and Ardha Bad Padmottan Asana. So today we will go forward for Utkat Asana and the Badra Asana and maybe some forward pending postures. Paschimottan Asana. Okay. So just sit and relax in any comfortable position you prefer for yourself. Close your eyes. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Bring awareness to your body, to your mind and your breath. So we'll start our today's class by chanting one time more. Deep inhale. All together exhale and loud chant home. Oh. Oh. Join your both palms front of your chest. So you go down your head towards God. Open your eyes. Come into tabletop position on your mat. sun salutation for warming up. So inhale, raise your arms up, both arms, join your both palms, exhale, go down, synchronize with your breath, it is important, very nice, Paula, very nice, Kerala. 
Now, inhale, look front, lengthen your spine. Chatwari, exhale, jump back. Chaturanga, make Chaturanga, bend your elbows. Very nice. Inhale, upward facing dog. Sat, exhale, downward facing dog. Now hold your breath, look at your navel point and deep. So you don't hold your breath, just inhale and exhale. Deep inhale and deep exhale. Now bend your both knees, jump front into Uddhuttanasana, halfway look up, lengthen your spine. Exhale forward down, fully forward down. Inhale all the way, come up. Again, second round, do exhale. Don't come back into samasthiti. You can go directly from up to the exhale. Go forward down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, go back. Jump into chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Again. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. While doing Astanga, you have to do Ujjayi breathing. So throat breathing. Use your throat, rub your throat while inhalation. Bend your both knees and jump front. Inhale and jump front into halfway look up. Exhale, go fully forward down. Inhale, come up. And exhale, Samasthiti. Samasthiti. Now, next our asan in our Astanga primary series list is Utkatasana chair pose. So I will tell you how you have to go into chair pose. Inhale, raise your both arms up for Udhuvichasana. And exhale, go fully forward down. This chair pose is different from like chair pose we do in sun salutation. It is the asan of primary series. Inhale, look front, lengthen your spine. Chatwari, exhale, come back, Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, Udmukha. Sat, exhale, Adho Mukha. Satta, bend your both knees and jump front into Utkatasana, chair pose. And hold here for five breaths, five. Pala, if you can, just slightly, your knees should be back. Four, three, squeeze your hips, push your hips down. Two, and one, exhale, press your palms, lift your body up and jump back into Chaturanga. If you cannot lift your body, just simply go back. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog, to Mukha Asana. Now bring your right leg front for warrior A. Right toe out, left toe slightly in, drop your back heel, raise your both arms up. Sink your pelvis down and hold here for five breaths, five. Don't do back bending, just sink your hips down. Four, three, two, and when done, left side. Now left toe out, right toe in. Left toe out, right toe in. Now do. Oh, is it? Sorry. Okay. So when you are doing with right leg, after the mm -hmm. location of right leg, you have to turn left side. Uh. Yeah, this is warrior postures. This is also in primary series. So hold it there and hold for five breaths. Five, very nice. Four, three, two, and when open your hands for warrior B, don't come back just towards the left side only. You have to open your hands for warrior B. Look at your left fingers. Again, hold for five breaths. Five. 
Paula, you have to little bit push your toe uh, in, toes in, toes in, right toe in. So left toe should be straight, right toe will be in. Okay. Three, two, and one. Now right toe out, left toe in. Yeah, hold five, four, three, two, and when exhale, go back, jump into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Now, if you can, you can just bend your knees and jump through Dandasana. Dandasana, Kerala. Oh. You have to sit into Dandasana. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. But you have to jump. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Easy no idea. way. But I'll should... practice, I promise. Okay. So keep your both palms, both beside your hips. Lock your chin on your chest. Keep your spine straight. Pull your toes inside. And hold here for five counts. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, raise your arm up. Exhale, grab your big toe from your first two fingers. Inhale, look up, lengthen your spine, push your spine down, open your heart. Yes, straight your elbows. Now exhale, bend your elbows towards your mat and try to touch your head on your sit bone, belly on your thighs. Very good. And hold here for five breaths. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, look front. Lengthen your spine again. Exhale, release your palms on your mat. Inhale, lift your body up and exhale, jump back into Chaturanga. Should I show you? If you have guys like blocks, you can use blocks. Okay, I'll show you my how to do it. So you get how you have to do. Hey guys, sorry for the disconnection. So you use your blocks, two blocks. If you use two blocks, one for right side, right palm, and one for left palm. Sorry, Paula. If I if you are saying anything, I cannot listen. I only had one block. Sorry. Is that you another method? One block. Use anything if you have a, like something in a house which you can use like a block. So jumping is very important. So you have to learn it because in every step you have to jump in Astanga. And Astanga is basically is also and only for increasing your strength with flexibility, of course. So I'll show you how you have to lift your body up. So you are in this position, then you are fine. And Exhale with your palms, inhale, lift, and exhale, jump back. Inhale, exhale, down to zero. So when I keep my palms down, I engage my core, squeeze my hips, and cross my legs so I can, uh, so I get good support. So I get good support, like 
it helps in engagement of my core when I cross my legs, and also it helps into lift my legs more up. I give support to my legs by crossing each other. So try, you are very nice, Paula. You are doing very good. Just take. It. <laughs> It's like halfway. <laughs> Kerala, you also try. But it's just halfway, and then it's like stuck there. My feet. It's okay for now. It will stuck, but then after that, you can easily go back and jump. Starting is very. You are very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah, but like when I'm here, it's so like. The oh. Yeah, then when you cross, like when you How do it again. Halfway. When you reach halfway, that time you have to use your shoulder strength. Lean forward. And just open your legs suddenly and send your kick your legs back and go back into chaturanga. Okay, try. You're very near to achieve like full chaturanga position. Yeah. Exhale, palms down. Inhale, lift up. Very nice. Paula, you are also doing very good. Very nice. You both are <laughs> place. You have to just kick. Okay. Again from here. You can use blocks. So now you are in downward dog, going to downward dog and bend your knees and oh my god, yeah, that's not happening. A couple of years. <laughs> in a couple of years. Again, sit into Dandasana. Now we will do Paschimottanasana. B, okay, guys, relax, sit down. You have done good, very good. So, no, no, open your legs, open your legs. We will do Paschimottanasana B. Huh. Inhale, raise your arms up. No, 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 same. In, inhale, raise your arms up. No, oh, sorry. Huh. Paschimottanasana B, same. Exhale, go forward down. Now grab your feet from up. Grab your feet from up. Inhale, look up. Don't remove your hands. Just look up. Open your heart. And exhale, bend your elbows again towards the mat. Bend your elbows towards the mat. Yeah, and touch your head. And relax here for five breaths. Five, four. Three and now inhale. Look up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, press your palms on the blocks. Inhale, lift up. Inhale, lift up. Go back. Very nice. Say it. <laughs> I'm go. just like very. Go back into Chaturanga, guys. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Now again, bend your both knees and jump front into Dandasana for Paschimottanasana C, variation third. Okay. <laughs> Pola, you are coming right, but just sorry. Cross, so you can just reach. Now grab your. Feet from out. From out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, go down. Grab your feet from out. Inhale again. Look up. Stretch. And exhale. Bend your elbows and go forward. Hold there. Five. Four. Pull your toes inside. Pull up more. Inside. Toes inside. Yes. So hamstring and calf muscles can stretch properly. Three, two, and one. Again, inhale. Look front. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Palms on the mat. Inhale. Lift up. Cross your leg and jump back into Chaturanga. <laughs> inhale. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Sorry, guys. I am sending you in Chaturanga again and again. 
but <laughs> this will increase your strength <laughs> yeah <laughs> again bend your knees and jump front into dandasana for paschim uttanasana d oh shit sorry okay now again straight sorry. legs it's okay happens with everyone even me i for i used to also fall so many times okay now inhale arms up now grab your wrist from your left palm inhale and exhale go down if you can you can just grab your feet from your hands like this very nice yeah uh pull us little bit up you have to keep on like little bit of uh lower than your toes yeah mam bari no no hands like legs so you have to not grip here just grip here this because it will help pulling the toes yeah okay five four three two and one again inhale come up in this posture put directly come up exhale keep your palms again lift your body up in the air oh no yeah <laughs> and go back into chaturanga dandasana inhale up facing dog and exhale downward facing dog bend your both knees and jump front for purvottanasana now i have to do purvottanasana yeah yeah okay first jump come into dandasana i tell you sit in the dandasana ha huh, yes now keep your both palms back of your hips back of hip yeah now inhale lift your hips up and look back you have to look back try to touch your feet. To... full feet on the mat like this you can see how powerful it is lift lift your hips up yeah look back look back look back yeah try to touch your feet hold mm-hmm. five very good guys four three two and when exhale hips down again inhale lift your hips up body up <laughs> like this is first not possible in you <laughs> or purvottana you have to lift oh my god tail again lift and jump back into chaturanga <laughs> Try, try. Inhale upward facing dog. Exhale downward facing dog. Bend your both knees and relax into child pose. Oh my God! So these are so many today. Chair pose, warrior one, warrior two, and yeah, Paschimottan Asana four variation and Purvota. Today we have completed like almost five asanas, okay? But there are variation also. relax don't forget to relax yourself and breathe Okay, so we will learn how to just like jump or go through from downward dog to dandasana and uh, like come lift your body up and just go back into dandasana. We will learn today. I'll show you how. So from downward dog, you have to just try to jump, bend your knee, jump up, and jump back. Don't come down. 
just come back again into town for now. Okay. Again, where do we jump up, Buddha? Don't come here. Forward. Just go back because for forward, if you come near your legs, you can might just fall back side. So just for starting, you have to come back into downward dog. Okay. So we will do this. Okay, start bend your knees, jump front. Up, you have to jump up. Okay. Be careful, guys. If you can, if you want, you can put something in your front so you do not fall. If you have, ah, good, 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 guys, you are doing good. Yeah, very good, very good. Do ten rounds and then again relax into child pose. Ten rounds you have to do. Just feel the momentum. Bring, uh, just feel that. Make that muscle memory which you want when you go through, like from downward dog to dandasana. Build that memory muscle in your mind. Turn ten rounds. After 10 rounds, just sit into child pose, relax. Then I will show you second win. Okay, now see the second win. So second win is two. Okay. Now second thing is to jump up. Close your legs. Sit down again. Sit down very slow. Just slow sit up. If you can go back, just lift and go back. But if you cannot lift, then open your legs and go back. Okay. Again, you know, you have to jump up and sit slow. Lift up and go back. You have to cross your leg, okay? Cross uh, with crossing your leg, you will not hurt your toe, and you will land on your leg, like, sin bone, sin bone. So it is very good, okay? Try. Yeah, slow, slow. Try to land very slow as much as. Yeah. Keep your toes flexed so you will not hurt your toes and land into sin bone. Yeah, nice, nice. Do again 10 pounds. No, not nice. <laughs> <laughs> you are trying, it is nice. Posture will become nice. <laughs> after practicing. Thank you. Oh, good. How do you? Is this... Is anyone asking question? How do you walk? So I... when I jump, um, uh, I have no no air in, right? I exhale when I jump, okay. and I inhale when I finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inhale. Uh, I'm gonna inhale. Exhale. Inhale here, right? Yeah, inhale in the up and exhale when you uh, like drop your legs down. Okay. At the time of bending, you have to inhale and then exhale. But well, like when you jump, you're inhaling? Yeah, inhaling, yes. Okay. And when you're coming inhale. down, when you're coming down, you are exhaling. Nice. Okay. 
after 10 times, you have to just again come into child pose when you complete your 10 times, 10 rounds. I don't know how many. Crossing your leg, Pola, you have to cross yeah. her. Try. Just remove that fear of fall. Oh, very nice. Caroline, you have to do this very nice. <laughs> clearly. Yeah, this but I can't finish. <laughs> So <laughs> it's just like a really you have to really focus before yeah. you do it. Yeah, you have to really focus. Oh no, that was no. Okay, now okay. Energy is tired. Off. Tired. Just relax. Just relax. You take few breaths. Because first you have to learn how to go into Dandasana, then only you can just lift and come back into Chaturanga. So first we have to learn how to go, then we will learn how to come back. Mm -hmm. Deep breath in, deep breath out, normalize your breath for a few seconds. Now, uh, rotate your shoulders, rotate your shoulders, rotate your shoulders, wrist, mm -hmm. it's important after doing like some balancing postures you have to do. So we will try Bakasana also because it also increases strength. So now you, you will try Bakasana. From Bakasana, you have to jump back into Chaturanga, okay? I will show you which one was, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, Bakasana, yeah. you have to go into Chaturanga. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Uh, should I show sorry my video yeah my video freeze sorry okay. just bend your knees put your both knees here on your elbows mm -hmm. lift your hips and legs up and then pull me into the front okay mm -hmm. Even though the first. Uh, uh, Paula, you can put some booster or something in front of your face. So if you fall, so you not hurt your face or something. Hey, that's in quarantine. Floor, floor is hard. <laughs> hurt your face. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> put something in front like a pillow or a booster. But are we like... Like the crow, is it? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Is it like a the crow position? Yeah, for your protection of your face, you have to keep pillow in front. Front, yeah, yeah. Good. And you can use also block like Paula using.
or a little bit up you have to keep your knees little bit up more up you are putting on elbows you, you have to put like on biceps and on your armpits as well but for starting you can put on your like triceps oh one by one just try one by one if you cannot lift try your leg lift oh by the way you can also do this way for the person first right leg up right down left leg up left leg down right up then slow one leg up another leg up and hold mm -hmm. So lean forward, lean forward, transfer weight on your both palms equally. Can you, Kerala, can you show me from this side because I cannot see your position, right side or left side, any side you want. Um, but be careful, put okay. some. I'll try. Okay, I'm gonna get away from the bed a little yeah. bit. <laughs> The position is correct. Lean, 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 lean. More lean, you have to lean more. Yeah, one by one. Very nice, very nice. Very good. I kind of do this like this because I have a wall here, <laughs> like the Chaturanga, <laughs> but um, like I can't practice like this one. Sorry. It's okay. It's just I don't have the space. <laughs> sorry. Maybe. Yeah, no. <laughs> After doing some more times, just relax into child pose. Do counter pose. <clears throat> oh, nice. You have gone into Chaturanga. And if you want, you can also jump into Bakasana from Downward Dog, okay? <laughs> Looks impossible. It's, it, will, it will become like a flow, bend your knees. Inhale <laughs> upward facing dog, inhale upward facing dog, again, with two bind. Yeah, um, I don't think that's happening right now. <laughs> You can try this also. <laughs> These are the some like. Wow, you have lots of confidence in us. Yeah, yeah. Because first when I used to do, I am also very bad at doing these things. I fall. Just try. You will do it. <laughs> very bad. And when you jump, you have to little bit bend your elbows while jumping. Okay. 
when you jump bend your elbows little bit don't keep your elbows straight because it becomes more harder after you are comfortable with bend elbows you can just straight your elbows jump and bend elbows like this Hmm. At the time oh. of jumping, you have to bend your elbows a little bit, okay? That's much harder. Much you need much more like a factor of strength, I think. Oh, sorry. Repeat. No. What you said, I have not seen that. It's much harder, I think, if you bend elbow. It, okay, it's already bend. very challenging for me okay, right now. <laughs> you can try the straight one. It's okay. You can try. If you can, you can try this trip. But if you do it straight uh, elbows, how will you put your like uh, knees into your elbows? It says I cannot bend at the moment I'm jumping. Okay. Yes. <laughs> You will build a lot of strength by doing these drills and exercises. And then it will be easy to just go feel already. <laughs> Dasna, jumping oh. back, the chaturanga. Okay, relax and do chai pose. It's okay. A lot for today. <laughs> <sighs> Relax for a few minutes. Slowly sit in Vajrasana. In this position, sit in this position only. Keep your legs folded or you can also sit in cross leg, simple cross leg. Close your eyes, keep palms on your knees in Jnana Chandra. Deep breath in and deep breath out. So we will do one chant of O followed by three sound, sound deep inhale. O. Join your both palms in front of a heart. Slowly bow down your head. Inhale, come up and open your eyes. Flex your hand, relax your leg. So, guys, if you want to ask anything, you can ask. Um, uh, I have one. Okay. Yes. Open Dasana. I'm not sure if I'm balancing in the right position. In <laughs> if I'm wrong, uh, I think I'm. No, uh, Garbha Pindasana. Garbha Pindasana. Garbha Pindasana, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Show me. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, is it okay or the back is not right? <laughs> no, back is okay. You have to put your hands inside yeah. your legs. I also uh, don't think I feel bad. Can you do this from front side because oh, sorry. I am not hands in correct way or not? Yeah, okay, correct. Now bend your elbows upside. Huh. More, more you have to cross. Stretch your hands. Now you can keep your hands on your head 
you can keep the uh, like on your chin like this yeah it is correct just stretch your spine a little bit more and it is okay right yeah it is correct you can also lift it put put asana after this lift yes hard to try you can lift in put put asana as well wow oh well mm. okay relax okay you work okay. it first time <laughs> okay very good okay correct yeah your position is correct um i just had you guys are amazing that was like you did so well you guys are amazing oh, okay is for the next time is i missed today's class thank you so much so not for missing the class thank you for your thank you, thank you so much no i i wish i could i wish i could thank you do it thank you thank you everybody now say take care uh surav i have a question oh yeah yeah lisa you can ask um so the 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 one that you crow, crow pose sorry internet disturbance can you repeat oh sorry sorry the the pose that you were just working on the crow pose what's yeah. it called in sanskrit the ha uh, bakasna um, but i'm a little worried about oh, okay thank you I'll, i i will study <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about doing that one because um I have sort of more weight on my lower body and I don't have a lot of strength in my upper body. I'm a little bit worried about my bones, like my bone strength. Okay. Should that be an issue or no? No, no, it's not. It's about uh like we have never practiced it. So if we if we if we had not practiced any asana, so how we will do it? but if we will do it in regular day regular practice you will get that strength yeah so okay be with us do classes you will get that strength definitely okay yeah i just i worry i just have this like horrible nightmare of trying to do something where i'm balancing on my arms but there's too much weight on my bones i don't know No, no, it's not like that. It's about all about practice. I have seen you. It's not anything like you are upper lower body or more or upper body or less. It's okay. You just have to try it. We will fall. Okay. Yeah, definitely. We all right. We, even everyone falls first when starting, but then for me, can... I'm just worried about my bones. Oh yeah, no, no, no. We will. Oh no, I, I definitely, I definitely. I definitely plan on falling a lot. That's not the issue. <laughs> the issue is I'm just worried about my if my bones are strong because of my age. That's all. Okay. We will use drills and with safety we will do so nothing will happen. Okay. okay. I will I will practice it later. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a good day to you, Nitika ji. If you want to ask something, you can also ask. uh not as of now i will probably be doing some more sessions on my own and maybe um, a couple of sessions later i'll have questions okay okay then so you are doing yoga from uh, uh, like you are doing 200 or 300 from here uh sorry you are doing 200 or 300 I'm doing two hundred as of now. Okay, so you joined today because I have seen today. Yes, yes, I joined the online classes today. I have uh, attended the online classes which were available in the course, and okay. I'm reading through the the literature provided and, and I... some more asans that I see on YouTube, etc. But I'll be attending these classes regularly now. Okay, attend these classes. These classes are also very important. You will get more knowledge. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Sure. You too. Thank you. Welcome.